Okay, guys, so from the part that we have here from A, B, there is and there are, we use there is for singular nouns. So for example, there is a room, there is a person, there is a phone, maybe, only one. And we use there are for two or more people or objects. For example, there are three people in the living room. There are um, four cars in the parking lot. There is an apple in my fridge. There are um, 20 chicken in my backyard. Okay, so that's how it works. That is for positive statements. If you want to use it for questions, what you need to do is you need to invert the order. For example, let me go ahead and give you an example. Okay. So for there is, again, a regular sentence will be, there is a phone on my bed. This is a positive sentence. How do we make it into a question? Is there a phone on my bed? Okay, this one is the first part. This one is for there is and there are. Again, there is is for singular nouns, meaning only one, okay? And there are It's for plural. For example, sorry. For example, there are four cars in the parking lot. Okay, this is again a positive statement, no question or anything. How do we turn this into a question? Super simple. We take this and we put it at the beginning. We invert the role. Are there any cars in the parking lot? in question mark. This is how you take a positive sentence and turn it into a question, okay? Questions up to here. Uh, in the previously no. sentences mm -hmm. that was missing uh, the question mark, no, the second sentences. That is perfect. Is. That is perfect. Thank you for noticing the mistake. That is correct. Okay. Any no, other no. question? Any doubt? No, everything clear. Okay, that is awesome. Okay, so that's how we use there is and there are. Let me see if we're missing something. Okay, going back to the book, it says, um, there is something else here. A or N, some and any. When do we use them? Okay, we often use there is and there are with A or N, some and any. Use some and any with plural nouns. Some, not an exact number. Use some in a positive sentence and any negative, okay? Any questions? Again, if there is a singular one, then you're going to use a or and. Who can tell me the difference between a and and? Depends if 
the the next word start with a, a vowel or consonant. Yes, that is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you did it perfectly. That was actually really, really good. Thank you, Sophie. So we're going to use A if the following word starts with a consonant. And we're going to use N if the following word starts with a vowel. For example, I can give you an example over here. I can say there is an orange so i'm starting with n because the following word starts with a vowel and i can say there is a phone so i'm starting with a because the following word starts with a consonant such as b okay so we're going to use a or n if or in which scenario singular meaning we're going to use them with there is if it is plural then we use some and any okay these are with there are there aren't Okay, so in, in plural, are and aren't using some and any. If it is positive, we use some, no specific amount, just plural, meaning like algunos, maybe two, three, four, 20, we don't know. And any is used in negative sentences or questions. Okay, so for example, there are there are some peaches on the table or in negative there aren't any peaches on the table. Okay, questions there? Is it clear? It's clear. Okay, thank you. How about the others? Is it clear? Yes? Okay, so now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing a small practice, okay? I'm going to be sending you the link to complete a live worksheet. So let me go ahead and stop recording here. <laughs> 